They are two virtues or characteristics. A child of God, especially a prophet, must have purity and peace. Said the Lord Jesus Christ unto me. My God, my God. And he said, especially a prophet. A prophet must be pure in heart. Also, a prophet must be an agent of peace. He said, Patrick, remember when I said, in Matthew 5, verses 8 and 9, blessed are the pure in heart. For they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they will be called children of God. I said yes. He said tell them. And this is what you guys, you are going to use to detect the prophets of God and the false prophets out there. You can call yourself a prophet and you never see me. Jesus Christ, and if that person say unto you, no, flee. You cannot call yourself a prophet if you never see your Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you You cannot reveal in good authority his word of peace. Jesus Christ will bring peace into his people. I can remember. And sometimes the word of Jesus may trouble you. But guess what? The truth hallelujah, will sanctify you and bring you peace in the end. He said yes. Revelation 19 verse 10. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Yesterday, I prophesied over a lady. I will not mention your name. You know who you are. And I practically, hallelujah, the Jesus in me. Jesus testified concerning her. And I tell her, here are the details of your life. My God, my God. And she sent me a follow-up confirmation email saying, everything that you have said is true. And now I understand my life. Amen, amen. And I said to her, here is the difference between I and the other prophets. I speak in the name of my Lord Jesus. I repeat what I hear Jesus is saying. 
the testimony, I tell her, of Jesus concerning you, concerning your life, your situation is the prophecy by which you must live. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This is how you know. If somebody, hallelujah, is a prophet or not, this person should be, should tell you, yes, I talk with the Lord. I, I have seen the Lord actually. I have seen the Lord. But the Lord Jesus said, let's move right now to Jeremiah 23, verse 10. He said, the prophets follow an evil cause. And use their power unjustly. I said, oh my God. He said, right now, Patrick, this is what's going on. The prophets out there are using their power unjustly. Unjustly? They're not doing with the power what is just. And he said, in verse 16, with that also. Tell the people, do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hope. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. He said yes. They said, they see this, they see that. Some, they claim, see me. Hallelujah. But their visions are from their own minds. I see a prophet, a prophesied on TV. He's, he's saying general things, not non specific. Whoa. What is the testimony of Jesus concerning this person? What Jesus is testifying to you about this person? This is why I don't have to know you. Let's I know about you is better for me. Because I can get in touch with my Jesus. You see? But, glory to God. And when I said, and sometimes I have the vision of you. Before you even think about writing me for a prophecy. I can give you example after example. I see no spirit coming and, I, and then the Lord said, hey, this person I show you, this is, this is the person. <laughs> I remember when I see a, a, a young man from Africa getting beat up. And then I said, what's that, the Lord? And he said, wait, wait, wait. And then, well, the same week, the guy from Africa. And I said, remember that beating you took? And he said, glory to God, you must be a man of God. Because, you know, <laughs> hallelujah. When he was crying, he reached out to God. God showed him, I was there by your side when you were getting beaten by those dogs. How do I know that? The testimony of Jesus concerning this person. Hallelujah. But he said, wait for them. Jeremiah 23, verse 17 now. They keep saying to those who despise me, the Lord said, you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say, no harm will come to you. What kind of prophet would I be saying to you, a filthy sinner, that everything will be all right with 
you know the first prophet. He's saying to you, you who are going to do good when you know you are totally perverse, you're wicked. Out there doing wicked things. But you come to me, I will tell you who you are. You know, they get mad at me. I said to a girl, you know, the devil is trying to attack you in this way and that way. He's a man. If you don't want to know the truth, don't dare asking for prophecy or requesting a prayer here. Because I will know who you are through the testimony of Jesus concerning you. This is what the prince. This is the new prince. Hallelujah. They are telling to you general things, non specific. Like God cannot see how wicked you are. You see them out there preaching. Oh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. When you say you are the same. But listen to this here. That is saying to those who despise me, God. You will have peace. No, you will have trouble. Say the Lord unto you, wicked people. To all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say, no harm will come to you. My Lord, my Lord. This is what's going on out there. I see them prophesying prosperity here, prosperity there. You are going to get this, you are going to get that. And they go on a frenzy. Like the Lord will reward their disobedience. Yep, the vision. In Jeremiah 23, verse 21 and 22. Listen to this. I did not send these prophets. Hallelujah. And you can, you can tell. How can you be a prophet? You talk to God. And God never tell you. Jesus never tell you that Saturday is the seventh day. He never tell you that. And you call yourself a prophet. You have a long meeting on Sunday. You never ask God, you know, what is your Sabbath day? That's an example. What is it? Tell me. Listen. I did not say, I did not say this prophet. Yet they are one with their message. I did not speak to them. Yet they have prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, they would have proclaimed my words to my people and would have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil deeds. My God, my God. A prophet should tell you to turn from your wicked ways. This is how dangerous that this gospel is telling the people that it is okay to sin, to disrespect your God, not to have the training or love of righteousness. How can you stay the Holy God when you are so unholy? How can you live in the presence of God when you reach heaven? When you are so wicked, you are training in wickedness, not in holiness. Your heart, your heart, people, are not you. You are seeking for trouble all the time. This is what I'm saying to you. My God, my God. This is why the Lord said, tell them, the month of March is the month of purity and peace. If you want to be, hallelujah, a prophet, a child of God, you must be a peacemaker. in support to his ministry. In support.
Jesus brought to his house. During the month of March, March, you must say, a Jesus peace offering. Peace offering used to be called anciently fellowship offering. The Father want to have fellowship with you. This is our desire. He wants you to see him. To have fellowship with him. But the Lord said, you must purify yourself to repentance. Guess what? Do not sing the Jesus peace of learning. I'm telling you, if you don't do that, purify yourself through repentance. Because God is seeking your heart. You must be pure in heart. You must be sincere. Hallelujah. That means pure, free from, from contaminations, from unnecessary elements. Hallelujah. You are totally corrupted in your mind, in your actions. Your heart is not pure. Guess what? You don't have to send the peace of heaven. But if you sincere, during the month of March, hallelujah, send a Jesus peace of heaven. Guess what? I will do. I will stay in the concern of the Lord of God. Receive his testimony concerning you. And you will have a word of direction to change your life. There is a star mission out there. A star mission for the true word of God. If you are a false prophet, repent. Purify yourself. Repent. Enter peace with God. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, you will tell his good will. You will receive his word. Hallelujah. This is the third word of the year. And you will be saved. For a year of success. The Lord will bless your way. He will bless your obedience. Your eyes shall be open to see him in every aspect of your life. And I say these things in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. And right now, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to present the tithes and offerings that we have received this week to Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The owner of this house Lord Jesus, house of prayer. He is the priest of God and will take to bless. Then I will go before the Heavenly Father's throne and pray for everybody in the basket. Lord Jesus, I have given to your people your word. Oh, I say unto them, and I repeat your word, if they want to be a child of God, if they want to be your children, the children of God, they must have purity of heart and also be peacemakers. Hallelujah. I give them your word. And right now, 
shall be given unto you. Bless the givers. Protect them from the devourer and allow them to excel in their communities. Be the one to get the promotion this year. Bless them according to your word for the glory of the Father. Amen. Holy Father, right now I present your people before you and I say, O oh God, bless your people. They have received the word of your Son. They are going to make the change. Allow them to have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So their heart may, may be changed indeed. Indeed. So they may become pure. Hallelujah. Right now, I have a man here from New York, upstate New York. Hallelujah. In need of you. Hallelujah. A minister of the gospel. In need of you. Of your deliverance. Of your help, O oh Lord. Right now, I have a, a couple here in need of you. Another minister of the gospel. In need of you, O oh Lord. Another minister of the gospel here. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Father, hallelujah. I see somebody here. Hallelujah. From Africa. Hallelujah. A family with two children in need of you. Glory to your name. Save your people. Hallelujah. A young lady in need of a job. Hallelujah. Bless this person. Save this person, oh God. I have in the basket people that are sick, afflicted, oh Lord. I want you to deliver them with your spirit. Cast out all false spirits from their lives. Allow them to be obedient into the word, into to the word of Jesus. To your word, to your commands, O oh Lord. Transform their lives, hallelujah. Be compassionate toward them, save them, hallelujah. From the hand of the enemy, save your people. Bless them, O Lord, according to your word, I pray, in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The Lords want me to give you an opportunity to be a part of His movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All ties and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report, and the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and Amen.